Since first going negative in July of 2022, the two-year versus 10-year yield curve has persistently declined down to an over 40-year low of negative 91 basis points on March 6th. The yield curve inversion has long been a reliable predictor of a coming recession for a couple reasons. First, if money believes that rough financial times are ahead, there's incentive to put money in the safety of long-term bonds over riskier assets, and that tends to drive longer end rates down in relation to short-term rates. That doesn't seem to be what's happening in the current instance as both short end rates and long end rates have exploded higher with the long end underperforming. What appears to explain the current condition is that the market feels that the Federal Reserve will overcorrect in the raising of short end rates and eventually will have to lower rates to combat a crumbling economic condition. The question though is when will this happen? Up until two weeks ago, the Fed funds curve had predicted that eases would come toward the end of 2023. Now those eases have been pushed out until quarter one of 2024, as economic data has been surprising to the upside. Some analysts even now argue that the current resilience of the economy is a signal that there will be no recession. The yield curve seems to disagree, though. 